Hello everyone, welcome back to Alpha's Playing Dead Cells. I have to be honest, one of the most annoying things about this computer right now is the number of actually spinning discs I have in it. It is doing my nut in, to be honest, because it won't stop spinning, which is one of the reasons, just a minute. Yep, still going. One of the reasons why I installed bloody Ubuntu in the first place is that Windows will not shut up spinning discs, which has been the bane of my existence for my entire life. So I used to have, um, well, I kind of still do, have anger issues whereby things would just frustrate me to the point where I would start breaking things that I cared about, which honestly has been with me since I was a child. Because I used to have, um, have you ever heard of Beryl the Peril? It's um, basically a female equivalent of Dennis the Menace, basically. A comic book character with red and, uh, let's just think about this for a minute. Yeah, let's, let's go Brutality Run. We'll do a... We'll do a survival run when I have unlocked Random Shield. Um, it's red and black striped sort of, you know, jumper and a very unruly child, which was appealing to real children because someone being unruly was funny and interesting. But I had a Beryl the Peril album, which is, you know, just a, a yearly almanac of... Yeah, okay. Um... I don't know if it was the comics released during the year. I don't even know, in fact, if Beryl the Peril appeared in a weekly publication. Oh. Great. <laughs> but, um... I'm not going to spend all my money on that this time. We don't have much to begin with. This might be an abortive effort anyway, so... I think I like this one a little bit more than Melee because it's more consistent. So we'll take that one first. Um, it's... I don't know. I think it might have been in the Dandy. Might not have been in the dandy, anyway. I had a barrel of the peril. Uh, yearly, annual. It's called an annual, not an album. That's why it's called. That's why it's yearly, you see. Um, and I got really, really angry at my mother. And I must have been seven, you know? Not very old, so it's. I'm not going to say it's excusable behaviour, because any behaviour that, you know, upsets people or causes an unnecessary anguish. It's hard to justify in any situation, but as a child, it's easier to understand bad behaviour than in an adult. But even now, certain things send me over the edge. Ooh, a rapier. And I'm pretty sure we can get through this level without completely ruining our chances of uh, unlocking that. So we can give it to the... The, the do damage up and uh, maybe even try using it on this level. We'll see how it goes. Um, the whole point of that is that when I was, I guess it was in 1999 onwards, how did I come about Unreal Tournament? Because the Unreal Tournament that I s truly remember being the first time I got so angry at a video game that, well, oh, actually. Well, I'll tell you the Unreal Tournament story, which is that now that I'm older, right, I basically know that the computer did not have nearly enough memory to run the game. Which is annoying only, mostly because it used to, you know? It previously had had enough memory to run the game, and then all of a sudden it was just willfully being a dick. So, of course, I would probably also have a little bit of a problem with the anthropomorphization of um, computer hardware when, of course, Computer hardware has no real feelings for or against you, except for when it's running Windows, in which case it is completely against you and hates everything about you. However, kind of a nice we don't have any skills, by the way. Ooh, I'm tempted by a blood sword. Let's try it. I do like the Assassin's Blade, but let's not get typecast. Um, so it would... Oh, this again. It would grind and grind and grind... And it got to the point where it would render a frame, and then grind. And then render a frame, and then grind. It was less than one FPS. And I think the problem that I was having was not... I mean, obviously, the frustration was part of it, because you couldn't play the damn game. And all I wanted to do... It was only allowed an hour on the computer. All I wanted to do was play the game. You know, that's why I'm on the computer. Whoa, that was close. Ow. You hit me. My first damage of the whole run. Um, 
But that wasn't just it. What was the real issue for me was the fact... Ooh, was that um, I couldn't get through to my parents the fact that this was not acceptable. Because <laughs> it was not my computer. You know, I was young. It was my parents' computer. It was my dad's computer. And, I mean, probably it should be some by way of apology, perhaps, um, for my behaviour as a child, but it's essentially war under the bridge now. Um, which is to say, why is it this bad? Why do I get 61% now? I'm going to go red and purple. I know the green gives me the most HP, but all of my stuff is red or purple right now. So that seems more sensible to me. Um. Yeah. Down. Down, down, deeper and down. I never seem to actually jump down when I want him to. Um. So I will get really, really frustrated. Not so much because the video game was causing me that much frustration, but because... There's more and I've missed it. Why is the computer not better? <laughs> you know, it, it was just not being fixed and I wasn't being listened to. And that was the most frustrating thing as a child, of course, being ignored by your parents when something that is important to you is considered to be unimportant. In in the general case, it's like, why did you have a child if you're not going to pander to their every need? And, you know, or, or they could have just sort of banned me from it. Eventually, I built my own computer because I learned. And I was still playing on Real Tournament on a computer that I built. Ow. It wasn't good. Um, and so, as a result, the reason I think it was uh, a memory problem is that every single time it stops, it would go grind, grind, grind on the bloody disc. Because this was a long time before the SSD was invented. Well, probably not invented, but certainly commercialised. I don't know when the first SSD was actually invented in the first place, I think about it. Um, uh, oh, thank you. Jump. That was correct. I did it right. You see me doing it right? Look at me, Mum. I'm not getting angry at computer games anymore. Um. So, the sound of a actual physical disc, a, a spinning rust disc, making all that noise, just grinds my gears. And probably the platters as well. Um, but one of the discs I've got is ancient and the other one is borrowed. So it's not like I'm... I couldn't roll. I was kind of hoping that the um, indication that I could roll again was a little buzz on the controller, to be honest. Because I cannot watch my own character and sort of play this game. What do you think? Sure. Nice. No. It's good, but no. It's got a big number on it as well, but it's, it's still a no for me. I would like my vampirism to not run out. How does it last, by the way? I mean, I've got my assassin's dagger back, and I'm not going to complain. So get rid of the bus off. I know, don't get typecast, but it, it typecast me for me. Okay? It did this. The first time I really got angry at a video game was uh, Privateer, the original one. Wing Commander Privateer. And... I... I don't know if I was just, like, a dick <laughs> as a kid. Because there was no reason for me to be getting angry at this game. You know, it was... It's a space flight sim, right? And it was really enjoyable. It actually... Basically, a very formative set of memories playing that game. Did I just miss a thing? Yeah, I went past it. My bad. Um, there is some gold down here. Let's go and get that. You, you, there's a vague story to it. It's not as good as Wing Commander 2, because in Privateer 2, the Darkening, not the Awakening, I was going to say the Awakening, it was the Darkening, that you played a, a character actually acted out by um, Clive Owen. Now, a famous actor known to be playing the sniper in The Born Identity and other things besides. Not, he doesn't always play a sniper, there are other things besides The Born Identity in which he has been. 
Um, but I just can't think of them off the top. Oh, he was in um, Children of Men, which is actually a really good film. Apparently, Children of Men, I don't know if it sets the record, but it certainly had a made a big deal out of having long camera shots with no cuts in. It wasn't the entire film done that way, but it was certainly a large proportion of it. Uh, it was a good film as well, so check it out if you haven't seen it. As a result, Clive Owen is one of my favourite actors. But I used to play, I remember having a mass driver. Just sell that, I don't need it. Um, which was, it was basically a gun. It, it was a gun, it was a weapon, but it was basically a, a ballistic weapon which fired lumps of matter, like cannonballs, at other ships. Which is fine, I suppose. <laughs> but, um, do we want something a bit better than what we've got? No, I would like a red secondary, but I don't know if that's an option. Let's go and put some more things in uh, either a power or this. I'm guessing this is another one use per. I don't know if there's a cooldown or one use per um, floor. We have an assassin attack of three, which is great. Burning target is good. It's not good. Okay. <laughs> I'm keeping it, apparently. Uh, I'm not going to. Fine. <laughs> I was looking to see if I could maybe get some burning when they thaw out, but at this point I'm just more sort of into the idea that I've, I've got more deeps going on. Oh well, I um, meant to use it, but instead I'm just going to do this annoying falling thing. And go to the ancient sewers. The mass driver just made this constant thump, thump, thump noise. It was the... I mean, what else would you do? It was the correct sound for that thing to make. It was the sound of matter being driven. Oh, okay. Actually locked me out of a door for once. That seems rude. Uh, and I would... My mum would call me for tea, and I would get stressed out and angry because she was interrupting my play. But they would probably rightly um, put my temper down to the noise of the video game. And she kept saying, you have to stop playing that video game. It's... Can you not climb and then just directly be in the thing? Um, you know, as parents are often want to do, they know more about being alive than a young child. So, I mean, that, that seems fair. I hate that you don't have a back. I say this all the time and I still hate it true. Uh, so I would be just saying, it's not in the video game, it's... I'm just angry. <laughs> but as a result, I never sort of really learned to control that rage. Which just shows up, you know? Don't even ever suffered from this yourselves. But my god. I was a dick. <laughs> Why is that a... <laughs> Why is there a, a way out which involves the vines? Um, but, you know, I didn't know it. I mean, I knew it because I was being told off, but I... When, when you get to be an adult, you learn more about introspection. And you, you start to have more of a bit of a superego as well. It's not just a case of introspecting yourself, but it's also a case of wanting to. Let me 10 cells at 8,000 8, gold. Um, it's a case of... Trying, trying to self-improve is, you know, it's, it's not going to be done for you. Is basically the, the idea there. Let's um, get some stuff going here. Help. You, you aren't going to do it overnight, and... There's a lot to learn about yourself, it turns out. I didn't realise that I could be this broken. But, I don't know, I feel like somehow there should have been some way for me to be taught, as a child, that what I'm doing is not okay, apart from being shouted at by my mum and dad. 
And it's like, how could I be so ungrateful that when I'm being called to eat the food that my mother has made for me, I'm going, how dare you interrupt my gaming experience rather than thank you for nourishing me. Uh, there's a lot to be said for the, um, <laughs> the, the general uh, philosophy that I didn't ask to be born. I, I don't disagree. And solipsism certainly does not help with this. This is bad. Run. Useless. This is a bit more difficult than expected. These crits are helping. Don't, don't get me wrong, but... These things popping up when I'm trying to kill something else is not helping at all. And of course, I always forget that these biters show up when... Um, we should hurt each other. The explosion's going on. So yeah, I am... I have got a big history of this anger problem. It's not just... You know, it's easy to think of it as like a, a modern invention sort of thing. Nah. It's been with me for my entire life. And I've never really considered trying to stop it. Which is probably quite telling, to be honest. It's a bit of an arrogant attitude to have. It's like, well, who cares if I am angry? You know, people just have to deal with it. And I, I honestly don't know whether it's fair to suggest that my parents should have been able to help me not have the anger in the first place, or if... Now, what would you do? Oh, what? Did you see that? I pressed the button. It interrupted me, so I didn't zap the dude. But I assumed that I had zapped the dude, and then he just stabbed me again without giving me the opportunity to... That was rude. That was a really good run as well. I was doing well. And you can tell I'm doing well, because I started talking crap. Well, I'm not talking crap. I'm laying bare my soul for you, evil thieves of time. See, I'm rolling behind everything. I have this. This rolling behind everything is just a second nature. It's, it's how I roll. <laughs> it's the way the game is played, my dudes. Let's do this. I'm good at this. And if I fail horribly, miserably, it's the first bloody round, okay? It's the first run of the day. Why am why am I up on purple? Oh, does my amulet have purple on it? Yeah, decent. I appreciate ooh having a um. Oh, turns out you can roll through those, which I think I knew. Oh, roll. That was bad. Didn't do that on purpose. I swear. Um, I I appreciate having a red and blue. A red and purple to begin. How did that right somehow? Uh, starting uh, weapon. I appreciate that the firebrand is red and blue, basically. Yeah, I did badly. Whatever. Get over it. Used to my thing being uh, freeze, which again I've typecast myself, which is the problem. I can't fight if I'm not freezing and backstabbing. It's my mode d'emploi, it's my raison d'être, it's my, you know, Keys Lorraine. I, I really need to learn how to play this game properly. Um, being able to kill things whilst they're in their exclamation on stage is really helpful, I have to be honest. Wow. Of course, if they jump away from me, that's cowardice, and you should be, you know, summarily executed by the court marshals. Yeah, that's fine. I guess the other thing to do is sort of learn how to get out of the way of an enemy. Maybe that's part of it. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Because I have got so good at... Did I get hit? No. Something weird happened. Um, because I've got so good at freezing things and running away, chickening out and buggering off, I have no idea how to get out of the situation when it's bad for me. I like infantry bow. I am very tempted, but it has less DPS, even though it's better rank. <sighs> Let's try it. Should have done that. Should have just. I can't sell those anyway, so I can't make the mistake of, <laughs> you know, selling them and then wishing I'd kept them. Ah! 
That's pretty good. I mean, every single thing is dying in one hit. Except for that. If I feel like it's a problem, I can just throw a fire brand first. Also, I didn't realize we had a decent shield to start with. That's my mistake. But also, also, there's more to explore. And also, 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 um, I forgot the first also. So now I'm on I'm several also's deep and forgot what I was originally also-ing. Uh, this. It's just an infantry grenade, okay. Victims burn. Sure. Why the heck not? There's more to explore. Nice. It's going to keep going with red. Um, I understand that my crusher there is not... Why did you... I don't... I understand that my crusher there is not... Um... <laughs> I'm confusing myself by which button does what now. My... Because my crusher is purple, is what I'm saying. I don't want to promenade. Why is the promenade through? Wait, what? There was a crushy way and a normal way. And you made me feel like I was getting something amazing by going through the, the gated thing, through the runes. And actually, it was perfectly accessible by mere plebeians. Mere not wall climbing... Can I even hit this? Yes. <laughs> Did not expect I could, but I managed to figure it out. I am the genius in this game. And you are watching because I'm better than you, even though at least one of my audience is considerably better than me. I, I hope the stutteriness has gone away because I'm now recording back onto the SSD and then I'm moving the thing off of the SSD in order to record the next episode because I has the smarts. If I had the smarts, would I be playing with a bow and a... Ooh. That might be good. Let's put some money into it. Would I be playing with a bow and a firebrand? No. No, I would not. I would like to reforge the modifiers on this to... Yeah. I want a fire synergy going on because we have a lot of fire now. Which means we might as well take sadism because that is a good thing. We're going to be um, burning everything anyway. I realise I took damage on levels that I really should not be taking damage on anymore, which is to say, the first one. But we're experimenting with different shapes. Oh, I'm still on the sarsaparilla. From the Darkest Dungeon episode. You remember them. Let's actually just throw the firebrand, there's no reason not to. Ah! I rolled into it. I see it coming now, so I get the opportunity to yell. No point. I don't understand vampirism yet. I expect that it is a shield thing. I.e. a survival thing. Oh, he died. Pretty okay. We do have enough ammo in the bow for now to get rid of most things that are likely to cause an issue, but if, um, if it gets a little bit deeper and dirtier than this, we might not find out it is the case. That's okay. The cooldown on the infantry grenade is actually really good. And it's a fire grenade, which is even better. Close range is slightly closer than the 90s. Might as well just replace it. There's the whole point of... This is a fire run. This is the antithesis of me. So I am really out of my comfort zone right now. To really be using these skills anyway. I'm just really ornery about the uh, cooldowns on them because you know, I can take out a couple of enemies and then if I get into a situation, don't stand around shooting when you need to not. Like that situation exactly, where I would much prefer to have been able to chuck the skill and just leave. It's all the same to you. Can I go down here, please? Thank you. Bro! You know, X, X, Y, or Y, X, as it is, is doing me really well right now. Which means I can probably get away with not using my skills. I don't really need to. I sort of have to keep using them every now and then, just to remind myself that I've got it. That was good. It's not my favourite, um... 
not my favourite pendant right now. The money is good, don't get me wrong, but it's going to be one of those where I die anyway, so it doesn't really matter that much. Unless I spend it on incessantly re-rolling a single thing just to try and get a synergy that it's not going to give me because it knows what I want. And if it was going to give it to me, it wouldn't. Oh, don't stand in the goo. Ooh, ooh. Sorry, uh, about to ejaculate upon me and I eat. Panics momentarily, but it was... It was fine. Nice. Get down here and get some actual scrolls for once. What have we got? A couple. This basically does everything. I'm not too worried about our crusher. I've only got it because of the uh, synergy where victims burn, which is... I mean, I'm not really using it for that. Personally. <laughs> The, the game is really, really excited to let me... Do you know what? We've got so much money. It's, it's trying to get me to climb on things much more than I really want it to. Toxic cloud around the trap. That's not much use. This goes on the ceiling, doesn't it? What do I want that for? I want that for the um, conjunctivitis boss, actually. So I put the crusher down. I wouldn't mind a um, slightly different sort of. Can I use three? Um, skill. I'm thinking what I would actually quite like is the. Ah, run. Aaron? Who's Aaron? I would like one that fires arrows or blades or something like that. Because I like it. <laughs> That's all I've got to go for that one. Uh, it's just straight up better. Um, where's the other one? Why? <laughs> okay, there's a certain, there's a few things to learn, and a few things that I just wish it wouldn't do. One of which is, stop sticking to the wall so bloody much. Okay, in that situation, I didn't. I decided I didn't want to run up the wall, but it was too late. I was committed. Not only was I stuck to the wall, but I was committed to literally climb it. And that time, he didn't run up the wall. <laughs> the first time, I wanted him to run up the wall. And that time, he didn't run up the wall. I was like, dude, make your freaking mind up. <laughs> okay? There's, we're in this together, is what I'm saying. I think I'm going to go and have a look at that pair of items in that room before we go any further. And no doubt I could have just gone two centimetres further and teleported, but so be it. It is the way. I'm tempted by this assassin's dagger now. What is our deeps? That's so much more DPS. Even without the... Well, actually... With a burning target? That's worse. What have you got? I don't want either of these. That's a quality problem to have. You know what? This. This. I don't need victims to burn. I can make my own burn. I feel like there are too many items in the game. Now hear me out. <laughs> I appreciate the, the, the opportunities. I appreciate the diversity and all the good words like that. But what I mean is there is no way of reliably getting a run that is really working for you. Because look, there's always these shops. I guess I need to get the shop reroll. Because there's so many items. I want a better firebrand. But there isn't one. <laughs> Where am I going to get one from? I need a shop that will sell me one. How do I do that? Well, you reroll it. Oh, I can't do that yet. Well, it's your fault. Well, I know. I haven't put the cells into it yet. This, this is worth it. Probably. As much as I like the pausing effect of like the satisfaction of causing a crit, 
I'm wondering if this is better. No. No, it's not. I was thinking about it, and I decided, basically, the the morale that you get from causing a close-range crit with the invent in inventory bow infantry bow is worth so much more than possibly the extra DPS might get that. Plus, we're not doing so badly that I really need to upgrade any of my weapons, except I would like to upgrade my firebrand, as mentioned. But, like, only a bit. Yeah, not... Whoa! <laughs> Talk about a roll, mate. Crate of weapons. I don't quite get what these crates are doing here, but so be it. A double crossbow matic, which is what I asked. That's good. Yes, I will replace this with this. Yeah, yeah, we've said this. Sell this. Leaving a trail of flames plays nicely into our fire synergy, and also um, the the uh, cooldown is so much quicker than the, uh, the the fire grenade that it's almost not worth not using it. I think we just keep going damage, pure DPS until. Like, we are start to struggle for HP. We're not struggling for HP. I haven't even started to worry about our HP yet. It'd be so much better if our infantry grenade not only used... Can you not land in the goo? Not only used the uh, fire, but caused it. But I don't think that's going to be an option. Let's see what we've got. There's another place to go, and I don't know how to get to it. What's that? What have I done? What have I left up there? Let's go back. I have made a foolish thing. I've done a silly. Ah. Didn't realise that that rune... I guess I could have guessed that it had a... Um, a symbol on the map, but I had no idea what it was. You're alright. This is a... This is our fire rune, which is actually going really well, in my opinion. I hope that you agree. If you agree, leave a like. If you don't agree, leave a like and a comment. Hal's been giving me a lot of uh, advice in the comments, so I can't be grumpy about that. I have missed a bit, but I'm kind of lazy about it. There's a room just in the middle of bloody nowhere. Did I miss something? I don't care. I don't care. Sasper at a time. It's spelt Sarsaparilla. It's pronounced Sasparilla. Wherefore? Let us get... I don't need the rapier. Let's put some money in rapier so the next time we have a rubbish weapon to begin with. And then I'm going to start unlocking this because it's expensive, but I need it, man. Uh, anything good? Uh, <laughs> Come on. Come on. I'm going to keep that. I don't want to spend all my money. Because I don't need this. Toxic power. That'll do. And then you can be the. Well, I don't need the. I don't need you to make flames, do I? Yeah. Everyone else has got burning target. So we need to somehow get back the. Um, the power on our. Intron free. Chibo, but uh, for now, who cares, man? See, this is always a 33 minute episode, right? I don't want to leave halfway through having died, but then somehow I die on what should be a really good run, so it's like, well, I feel bad just leaving it be, and I feel bad, you know. Oh, I died. That's much better. Um, I feel bad, you know. For mul basically, I feel bad for multiple reasons not doing another run in the same episode. It makes it a sort of a 10 minute episode, which is no good at all. And then, it's like, I, I sort of need to atone for the fact that I completely screwed up in the first place. I guess what I could do is, uh, like. What would you, how would you feel about, basically, if I were to, um, when that happens, which is always, um, simply, great, 
That was really good. Make it two episodes, but release them on the same day. Like, I could do a... A sub episode, have them both have the same episode number. So you can do this, um, but uh, you know, with the same uh, okay, a sub number, like episode eleven point one and episode eleven point two, that sort of thing. Because that way, there's a short episode, so you don't have to. The problem I have is that if someone uploads a, I I can't deal with. It really long episodes when I'm watching another YouTuber. It's like, I really appreciate the fact that there's a lot of content to watch, but at the same time, there's so much content to watch. You know, it's, there are other YouTubers. Ah! No. Not doing 100% damage taken. Also, I'm doing really badly, despite the fact this is a really good run. Uh, so if I had two episodes, it's basically it, it, it pauses for you. Explodey grenade. Yeah, but this cooldown is just too bad. <laughs> but both of my things are already ready again. It sounded funnier than it was. Nice. Um, it, it's, it's like got a natural break in it for you, but it's one day's episodes, nevertheless. That was horrible, and I really should have used my... Uh, I really should have used my skills to deal with that, but I kind of didn't, so... Whatever. You, know, you, don't, you don't own me, you know, you're not actually controlling the game. You're just giving me really helpful tips so that I can control it better myself. So, that was bad. I acknowledge it was bad, and we will move on. Give me some money, thank you. I think when I do that, I just have to keep dodging around. <laughs> Wait for the uh, fire to kill him. Apart from when there's one. The problem is that the draw time on the bow means that I... Why did you roll so far? Have I not got this set up? I'm sure it's a roll if it causes a high platform. Okay. Well. Because he keeps rolling into the bloody spikes. Now, why would you do that? Can you not see that there is a a spike <laughs> to roll into which to roll? Good. Well done. Actually got it right for once. Killing the enemies in the right order is half the bloody battle. So to speak. I mean, it's the entire battle because once you've done that, there's no battle left because you have killed them all. This is better. Causes bleeding, which I like. Not really. The burning target thing is basically our synergy, and I've already used one heal, so I'm kind of hoping to go as long as I possibly can without uh, taking another one. And I hate the fact that anything that causes you to do better healing yourself inevitably requires like, the blood of your eldest children and stuff. Because I, um, I would like to just passively heal as I play without taking 100% extra damage all the time. I just need to be better. <laughs> I mean, that's what vampirism does. We can only do it once per Madudar Majigger. Ooh! I mean, sold. <laughs> I'll spend all my money on that because that's what money is for. I know that might have been expensive, but you know, I was saying, was I not? You know, I can't get a better firebrand without buying one or happening across one. Well, now I have. I like that the infantry grenade, uh, like, has such a slow, uh, quick cooldown. A short cooldown, I guess I should be saying. Because I'm using it a lot. Like, shooting those things is not the best thing for you, because you have to shoot each one individually. Whereas if you have a, an area of effect sort of thing, which is better, better. 
I would like my fire synergy back on my bow. Is that it? Dead end? Not a fan of this dead end. Not even a kebab in a wall to make me feel better about it. Is there? Nope. Alright, moving on. Moving swiftly on. Appreciate having upgraded my uh, fire brand, but kind of one of those. It's almost a meh thing at this point because the the actual fire damage is grand, and we do now have shoots an arrow in front of you, which is just a little bit of extra DPS, to be honest. Um, the actual damage it does is a decent um, bonus to us, though, because it is now doing 37 DPS. I guess it does have plus 50% damage on it, which is kind of nice. And it's doing a lot... Of, I wonder if the fire does more... Uh, you would expect that the fire does more damage on a better fire brand, right? But I don't know if fire is just like a static amount of damage in and of itself. Of course, it enables sadism as well. I have to remember that. I'm going to keep going with the deeps, even though it's not giving us very much apes. Guards things. Oh. Just a noise. It's like a warning message from a guard. It's written in red, so it must be important. Make sure you don't miss your guard duty outside the monster's room. It wasn't easy to chain up. Wouldn't like to have to do it all over again. Uh, do you think that's probably the one that gave us the... Ooh, thank you for that. That's very much appreciated. Do you think that was the one that gave us the, uh, the rune? Whichever rune it was that we won from... Again! <laughs> Either I rolled too far or not far enough. Is there a trick to that that I'm not getting? More XP, please. I've got 10 in red, so I think we can probably start uh, investing in our future. I don't like this at all. Oh, he's done it. I think uh, I've learned a little bit that the tricks of climbing onto a narrow ledge like that is to let go. <laughs> Stop trying to move in a direction. Nah, I'm not going to fight uh, an elite today. Good. That actually went really well. I had to stop talking so I could concentrate on it, but doing so worked. So you can all put up with dead air for a while whilst I get I get good. I mean, it, the game literally tells me to get good, so uh, I'm doing it. Assuming. Stop making it with the mushrooms and the zappy in the, the whole garden. Yikes! You have to get out of here, like ASAP. What did I win? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Heal, quick. Uh, Ice Bow 3L. It's so good. But it's completely anathema to what we're doing. I would very much like this to be anything but an ice bow. I can't. <laughs> There's just no universe in which an ice bow fits this build. And 500 gold seems like meager recompense for such a you know, major loss, to be honest with you. And it is a major loss, because that would have been amazing on basically any other run, which super sucks. Uh, I guess we want to go down here then. Which saddens me, because I don't want to... Thank you. Good. I don't want to deal with any of this. Ooh. Who puts these things in their sewers? <laughs> Who's building these sewers? Who's, autom who's magic is generating these sewers with these traps in them? I suppose if you are generating sewers that you know someone's going to try and go through, you're going to put traps in them. We have succeeded. I'm not even going to check the map. We're just going to go to the insufferable crypt and fail once again at this enemy. Look, it's been a three-quarter of an hour episode. I think the thing is, we're going to find that they're going to be three-quarter of an hour episodes anyway. Um, okay, so let's, let's just fill up our restock. I really want restock. Now that I've realised... A, a big gap in my play. I really want restock. 
Damn it. <laughs> really hoping for the best on that one. Um... This could be good. We do have a deployable skill. But we don't get much benefit out of it. Whereas this will be good when we've got the tentacles going on. So I think we have to take it, unfortunately. Uh, this one, not that one. Let's find out. We've got a lot of fire. We have a couple of skills which are slightly better than the ones we had last time. But not by much. And uh, a minor <laughs> improvement over our abilities with this uh, like understanding of this particular enemy, but not a huge one by any means. That's okay. I think we're doing fine now. Oh, fire your weapon. I heard noises. Is that gem back? Better be. I can hear voices, but I can't hear what they're saying. Hello? Back. Why are you leaving? Got milk? Get extra. Did I say to get extra last time? Yeah, we need it for the fear. Just two. I can't believe it. It was your idea as well. Honestly. I can't get staffed, I, mean. I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Stop being up there, though. This is the main problem. Why are you up there? Hang on, I'm going to put my headphones back. Okay. Jen has entered, spoken to me, through headphones. How rude. And left again to get milk. We've been buying raw milk because there's a shop around the corner that does it. Um, but... Say around the corner, it's 10 miles away. What, what's around the corner in your country? That was a terrible time. No! See, that was another sort of comedy of errors once again. I, I rolled just because of the shits. And then I suddenly needed to roll and couldn't. So when I tried to roll, it wasn't ready. And then it trapped me behind itself. And then, as a result, I couldn't roll. Ooh, I couldn't roll away from it. Basically, I couldn't do anything I needed to do. When there's only one of these, it's so much easier. I find it harder when there's two of those than when there's one of them, to be honest. With you. Also, they doesn't stay nearby long enough. Get down here. Ow. Down! Talking to a dog I don't have yet. Can you just stand in one put there? I got nothing. There's no way I can avoid that. Someone give me advice. Help and advice. Right to the Guardian, they'll know. I'm out of ammo. Give me my ammo back, you bastard. That was real stupid. That was not how you fire. Okay. Stop dying. <laughs> Pretty easy. Don't die. I would like the ammo back that is stuck in the enemy, but it will not give it to me. Because I need a grenade to make that. We really need to only roll when it's strictly necessary, because... Oh! Knew it. Still not got that one down. It's those... Stop rolling all the time. It's not Zelda. <laughs> That's the problem. I'm always in a position where I can't roll, because I forget that I have to... Um, let my roll cool down so that I can use it. So I... Apologise for that, but it's a learning process. This is episode 12.5. So, oh look, it's going to make me do this again. Uh, let's do this. So, in the next episode, we're going to be playing Shields and Swords, which is 
basically how you play a game. But thank you for watching this episode. I hope you liked it, and I hope you will leave a like on the video as a result, because you did like it. And I hope you'll be subscribing if you haven't subscribed already, and I hope you'll see me in the next episode, because I will be here waiting for you. But until then, I will see you. And that was a big noise.